Hey, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how I place my designs on the Printful mugs. So first, you do have to have an account for Printful.com. And then once you have your store set up, I'm going to go to stores and then I'm going to click on add product. Once you press on add product, you're going to actually go to the section right here where it says home and living. And then you're going to press coffee mugs. The one I like to use is the white glossy mug. So I'm going to click on this. So after that, you're going to click on the 11 ounce and the 15. And then after that, you're going to press drop your design here, press on it and upload your design. All right. So once my design has been uploaded, it's going to go right to the middle. And so what I want to do, I want to put on one side. So I'm going to just put this on the right side. And my goal is actually to duplicate this to put it on both sides. But for now, I'm going to work on the first side. So I'm going to make this as big as I possibly can without it making it look awkward. And I'm using my arrow keys right now just to even it out. All right. I think that looks OK. So just to check, I'm going to go to this 3D view here. And I think that looks pretty good. And I can also go to mock up view just to double check it. And if you go to the bottom, you can see these pictures right here just to see what it looks like. And I'm really liking how it looks just from the pictures. All right, so as I said before, you can just do one side and then you can also do a duplicate. So I'm gonna press this duplicate button and now it's gonna appear on both sides of the mug. So again, you're gonna just press duplicate and that's how you make it appear on one side. So that's why I did the one side first so that it'll just duplicate it to the other side and just have it correctly proportioned. So now I'm gonna go to 3D view again, just to check it and I'm just gonna turn this. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's in the middle, it's aligned. And if I go back, same exact thing on one side. And then I'm gonna go to mock-up again and I like how this looks right here. Check out the different mock-ups and it looks pretty good. Also, you want to make sure you want to select the other size right here. So if I select 15 ounce, you're going to see that it actually did not change anything at all for the 15 ounce. I only changed it for the 11 ounce. So I'm going to click on 15 ounce again and then again, do the same thing. Make it big enough. So that looks pretty good. So right now I'm going to check it. Go to 3D. I think that looks OK. Maybe I'll shrink it just a little bit. Center it to the middle line right here. Go back to the 3D. And I think that looks a little bit better. So that looks good. So after that, again, you want to go to duplicate. And it looks like it has duplicated exactly to the other side. Go to 3D. And if I turn this mug, it's going to be duplicated on both sides. You can check the mock-up view as well. And you can check out the different views. So that looks good. I'm going to press continue. All right, so after that, you just want to make sure again that you have selected both sizes. And then after that, you want to go to design just to make sure everything looks good. I do none for the print area background. If you do print area background, it's going to change the color. As you can see, it's going to change it to black. You can do other colors right here. And then if you want to see what this looks like, I can just show you real quickly. It doesn't actually change the entire mug to that color. It just changes the design part. I'm going to change that back. So normally I do none. So that looks good. All right. After that, I'm going to press proceed to mockups. So for this part, you're just going to choose the mockup that you like. I'm just going to choose this Halloween one right here because it looks pretty good to me. And then press proceed to details. All right, so for this part, you want to put the product title. For the description, I'm going to actually leave this right here because I'm going to actually update this in the store. Same with the tags as well and the product sections. Okay, and after that, you want to press proceed to pricing. So we're at the part where we put our prices. You can either do the percentage right here or the dollar amount. But for me, I'm going to actually do it manually. So for me, for this demonstration, I'm going to just do $18.30. And then for the 15 ounce one, I'm going to do $20.30. And again, this is just up to you on how you want to customize it. But these are just my prices that I'm going to use for this example. After that, you're going to press submit to store. 